Why did over half of Hive's player base move over to Cubecraft, and how can the Hive get those players back? Well, today I'm going to be talking about everything Cubecraft did right, and how the Hive can do the same. This way they can get more players and possibly more games. Okay, let's get into the video. Cubecraft has a lot more games than the Hive, which is probably the biggest difference between the two. Another thing to know about Cubecraft is that Cubecraft has more original games that you can only find on Cubecraft. You can't find the bridge on any other featured server. You can find stuff like Skywars on almost every featured server. Most people do not play on external servers, but mostly play on featured servers, so if the Hive were to add some new original game modes that cannot be found anywhere else, then I'm sure that a lot more people would switch back to the Hive. Another thing to notice is that Cubecraft got a lot more players once they released the parkour. Not sure other servers do have parkour, but they don't have as many levels and quality as the Cubecraft parkour. If Vibe wants to do the same thing that Cubecraft is doing, they probably should try their best to stand out from all the other servers okay. and convince people to play up more. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Hive should add some more twist to their games. Maybe instead of just naming Bed Wars to Treasure Wars, they could add a whole new twist to the game. I'm not saying that they don't already have a few twists to it, but they probably should make it a bit more different from Bed Wars and other games like that. Anyways, that's all. Bye.